Yes, you're quite right, Mrs. Corney. There is a canker in our midst. That boy was born to be hung. Never have I been so shocked in all my days. Now, now, Mr. Bumble, you must have a quiet turn. Sit down and have a nice cup of tea. Uh, yes. It's nice to be appreciated, Mrs. Corney. <sighs> These here paupers and this here parish don't appreciate me. Why, this very blessed afternoon we've given a matter of twelve loaves and a cheese and a half. And still they is not content. Of course they're not. When would they be? Sweet, Mr. Bumble. Very sweet indeed, ma'am. Oh, you little tinker. I see you have a cat, ma'am. And kittens, too, I declare. I'm so fond of them, you can't imagine. And they're fond of her home, too. Well, ma'am, any cat or kitten that could live with you and not be fond of its home, well, it would be a fool and don't deserve to live in it. Oh, Mr. Bumble! Well, there's no use denying facts, ma'am, and I would drown it myself with pleasure. Then you're a cruel man and a hard-hearted man and all. Hard-hearted? Hard? Are you hard-hearted, Mrs. Horn Corny? My, my, what a curious question coming from a single man. What can you want to know for? I shall scream, Mr. Bumble! I shall scream, Bumble Bumble! I shall scream! 